This is a spinning gyroscope. And uh, just watch this. If I if I were to upset it from its direction along gravity, it'll instead of just falling back to aligning with gravity, it'll process about the gravitational field, which is down, points downward. So instead of just falling right back, notice the procession, and that. That, that's called relaxation in nuclear magnetic resonance, except that in nuclear magnetic resonance, it's the spin of the proton which does that. Uh, notice that if the, the gyroscope isn't spinning, if there's no spinning involved, it does something much more boring. But if it's spinning, and I upset it from its alignment with gravity, it will process around the gravitational vector until it aligns with it again and uh, that is basically the the phenomenon which underlies uh, NMR and finding that frequency of precession is uh, is of primary interest in NMR is noticing when when the nucleus does that when will it how can we get it to do that and at what frequency an applied field because in in this case this aligns along gravity the spin couples to the gravitational field in NMR you say that the nuclear spin couples to the magnetic field and there was a problem that tried to describe that but uh, or a problem set rather, the first problem set for the intro to NMR course on uh, University of Reddit. But if you didn't get that far, it's okay, just stick with it. That's the first demonstration. Feel free to watch the video again and, and notice that procession that occurs. Uh, and it will continue to process until it aligns with gravitational field again. That's basically what happens in NMR. Uh, more soon. Thanks.